How will time travel affect the human nervous system? Time travel in a very local, very limited form is already being practiced, and so we can see what effect this has on the nervous system of people who undergo it even now, and thus make predictions, right or wrong, about how longer time travel trips might affect a person as well. If you get into an airplane and fly across several time zones and get out, you will experience what is called, colloquially, jet lag. Studies done on jet lag find it arises due to the hippocampus's endocrine secretions falling out of their usual circadian rhythm. This causes all the other autonomically functioning systems to each fall into its own tempo. And this pattern of multipolarity in terms of one's bodily clock results in the disorientation, fatigue, and inflammation one feels collectively as symptoms of jet lag. Of course, the longer the trip, the more alien the chronological environment will be when one arrives, and thus the greater their degree of jet lag. Likewise, the shorter the trip, the less the symptoms are likely to persist. This much, at least, can easily be predicted to be holographically transferable from simple airplane travel to deep space travel at FTL speeds, let alone travel through time itself. After all, time travel is nowhere specified as being necessarily exclusive to travel through time by itself. One can time travel and space travel in one and the same trip. In fact, we do almost in fact, we almost all do so almost every day. When you get in your car and drive to or from work, you are traveling through space and time both, albeit not outer space on a journey of so great a distance as, say, to the moon and back. The lunar distance from Earth is, on average, approximately 385,000 kilometers, that is 239,000 miles, or 1.28 light seconds. This is roughly 30 times Earth's diameter, or nine and a half times Earth's circumference. Nevertheless, Earth's equatorial circumference is around 40,075 kilometers, 24,901 miles, which is actually less than the mileage on many people's vehicles. Also, when one is driving at 60 miles per hour, one is driving a mile a minute. This is the same premise as a light year, being both a measure of distance and a duration at the fixed rate of light speed.